extra perspective on just that perspective and how dramatic life events can change it in an instant. Think of the last time you were on a bicycle. It may have been for exercise, maybe for fun or a mode of transportation. For former UTEP football player Stephen Forrester, the purpose of his pedaling is much greater. He's on the road to discovering himself in this ABC7 original. It's the start of a new day on the UTEP campus, but just up Sunbowl Drive. Love you. Love you, mama. Oh, it's the start of a new journey for Stephen Forrester. For most of his life, <laughs> football ruled. A starting linebacker for UTEP heading into his senior season, he had aspirations of going pro. I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity uh, that I have at UTEP. Uh, to go to the next level and to prove to myself that I'm kind of worth it. But just before spring football 2020, he was blindsided. His uncle, Steve Clark, was diagnosed with glioblastoma. That's one of the ways you can see that brain swelling. A rare and aggressive form of brain cancer. My only one God say he was in the doctor. Even in the worst of times and the hardest of times, he was cracking jokes. Before we're shopping, we're returning things. <laughs> we're getting money back in the card. That's a good day. <laughs> it always was giving and serving. The family flew out to San Francisco for surgery, but Stephen stayed in El Paso. I was thinking this is my year, thinking selfishly, and I need to train, and so I'm not gonna go out there. Just weeks later, the promise of his senior season abruptly halted. Tonight, the coronavirus in the U.S., President Trump declaring the world is at war with a hidden enemy. UTEP's remaining spring practices and spring game canceled. You've got everything planned out how you want it to be, and then you don't anymore. The pandemic put his football future in peril, put his life into perspective as his uncle fought valiantly, even joyously for his. See you later, Steve. But as time with him became more fleeting, an idea came to life. You only get so many opportunities to do something meaningful for people in your life. The Bike to Crush Cancer was born, a 650-mile ride from El Paso to Stephen's hometown of Garland, just outside Dallas. I think I'm still going through it mentally. I think that's what the bike ride is. For Stephen, perspective and priorities changed. Instead of releasing his feelings on the football field with a punishing hit, He's putting away the pads and tackling regret through personal growth. Through being with my family, I've seen another way to express myself. Maybe for the first time in my life, not something selfish. Instead of, you know, doing something destructive, we're trying to really do something constructive. I think it says a lot about him that you can step back from something that you love and you've spent your whole, your whole life doing. This really drew us together as a family. And I saw my boys, how important uh, our family is to them and makes me real proud. Months into the planned ride and more than a year into his fight, Steve Clark died on April 6th with his family by his side. He was just 58 years old. On this Saturday morning, one month later, Stephen glides down Sunbowl Drive with his dad and brother Josh, putting his football career in the rearview mirror and his new mission in front of him. I would like to get out of this a meaningful movement to crush cancer. I think how Steve's message could just spread happiness to others who may be in a difficult situation with cancer. Happiness Uncle Steve found with the help from nonprofit organizations Head for the Cure and the Musella Foundation. The Bike to Crush Cancer is raising money for both and keeping Steve's legacy alive. Steve isn't just on this ride across Texas spiritually, but symbolically as well. The orange jacket Steven is wearing right now once belonged to Steve. He wore it on his bike rides and ran marathons in it. Much like a marathon, the bike to crush cancer doesn't come without its ups and downs. On day one, Steven crashes, his helmet suffering the worst of it. His uncle's presence picks him up. He's gonna be our, our Superman. Just pushing us through, giving us the passion to finish up the bike ride. A detour back to El Paso to repair bike damage, but it's no match for their determination. Through checkpoints, We're going across Texas. mountain passes, We've got a nice headwind here. the land of enchantment. Up New Mexico! Woohoo! 
and across the plains of the Texas Panhandle. Grabbing a little snack, gummy bears. Every day of the ride starts with a warm-up routine and ends with new family memories created. Stephen and his dad pedaling, his mom Cindy driving up ahead with his brother Josh providing the support. It's a time for us to be able to just step back and, and go do something together. Yes, sir! Work on our friendship, our relationships. And on the 11th day of the ride, a journey complete for Stephen Forrester. Relationships strengthened as they push through the pain of loss. There's no obstacle, not even death, can make me stop loving Steve. For a purpose much greater. Perspective, it's what I thought about when Steve's wife, Suzanne, who you saw in the photo there, sent me this photo right here. She told me this was taken in October when his cancer was raging, but just look at his smile. Suzanne said that's how he handled this cancer the whole way through, nothing but gratitude. It certainly puts things in perspective, and while the bike to crush cancer is over, Stephen Forrester's mission is not. He says he'll be auctioning off his game-worn UTEP football gear soon. All proceeds will go to the Head for the Cure Foundation and the Musella Foundation. And you can find links to those foundations in this story right now on KVI.com and donate to Stephen's cause. So that incredible is, to see how yeah. he and his family came together for such a, a worthy cause. It was really emotional also just to see how even his mother got in there and, and was driving to support them in, in some form. It's so inspirational. I mean, uh, this, this type of story, it just brings cause and reason for, for someone's life. And Stephen Forster, name to remember. Mm -hmm. And Stephen Herschel and Joshua will tell you Cindy is the true hero of this whole trip. She packed up the camper, <laughs> drove it all the way across, and she was there every step of the way. Mm -hmm.